to an audition, I did not come three minute rant. It's not actually a rant and it's not an I told you so, but I do believe Pacquiao dodged a bullet with Spence Jr. getting injured. With Pacquiao losing to UGAS with a unanimous and a comfortable unanimous um, win for UGAS, I do believe he, he definitely dodged a bullet with Spence Jr. getting injured. Um, when the fight for Pacquiao and, and Spence Jr. was announced, I did say on, on social media that Spence Jr. was going to stop Pacquiao. And I got a bit of stick for this on social media, saying I was disrespectful of Pacquiao. I wasn't trying to be disrespectful in any way, shape or form. But at the end of the day, father time catches up with all of us. You know, and I, I did feel this was a fight too far for Pacquiao. And I believe that <laughs> the God was, gods were shining down on him for Spence Jr. getting injured. A lot of people were trying to say that Spence Jr., and was ducking Pacquiao until the point where um, Spence Jr. had to release some official doctor's notes to show that he had an injured and, and, and legit injured retina. And I'm sure after the fight, Spence Jr. was sitting there kicking himself, thinking, damn, I got injured. I could have went out in a I could have gone in a, a blaze of glory to, to stop Pacquiao. But um I, I do believe that he, he definitely does the bullet with Spence Jr. um getting injured. I think the fight was comfortable for you guys. There is an argument to say um, Ugas is he, he was a, like he took Pacquiao put, took the fight on eleven days notice. It was hard to adjust, you know. He his whole fight camp was preparing for Spence Junior, which is a different boxer, and he had to take the fight with with with, with Ugas. But that's boxing, you know. Um, Ugas had to take the fight on eleven days notice, and and it's the biggest fight that he's ever fought, and he adjusted, and you know he fought well. He, to be fair, you guys was the bigger fighter and he was very rangy. He did keep Pacquiao at range and, you know, just used his jab. Generally, Pacquiao would have withstood those kind of things. If Pacquiao fought you guys five years ago, Pacquiao would have stopped you guys. But as I said, father time catches up with all of us. I felt in the fight that um, Pacquiao, after about the third round, he looked tired to me. He did have a few flurries within the fight, um, latter rounds, but he just couldn't sustain it. Ugas kept him at his jab, kept him at the end of his jab. You know, he was a slick boxer, but he's not a big big puncher, but he's a very slick boxer. To be fair, Ugas is like, what, um, 35? Spence Jr. is 30, 31. Even Spence Jr., um, after the car crash, is still, for me, on the spectrum of the pound for pound list. Ugas, for me, great boxer, great slick mover, um, technical boxer, but he's not on the spectrum of pound for pound list like um, Spence Jr. for me. And that's why I think... Pacquiao really dodged a bullet with, with Spence Jr. getting injured. And, you know, so uh, at the end of the day, I think this should, Pacquiao should really hang it up, to be fair. Um, it's better to go out with a unanimous points decision defeat against Ugas rather than getting pummeled to defeat by Spence Jr. So I think all in all, it works out for him and he should bow out. There's never going to be another um, Pacquiao, no disrespect to him, he's been a great boxer. He's broken records. There'll never be another Pacquiao. But I think this is his time. And as I said, five time catch up with all of us. And it's your time. When it's your time, it's your time. Anyway, my time. Later.